घर को स्वर बनाती हैं बेटियां। With this note, I take the privilege to invite our today's chief guest, Dr. Tejaswini Manohma. Madam, I request you to address the gathering. और इनके सम्मान में मैं ये पंक्तियां कहना चाहूंगी तेजस्वी सम्मान खोजते नहीं को बतलाकर पाते हैं जग से प्रशस्ति अपना कर दब दिखलाकर एक बार जोरदार तालियों के साथ The source of strength is science, which drives the nation in peace and war. My pranams and salutations to all you wonderful scientists of DRDO, the most premier research and development organization in the country. Distinguished dignitaries on the dais, Padmavati Ma'am, the first lady of DRDO, Director Sir Dr. M. Ramamano Babugaru, Sheila Nani Ma'am. Kanti Rani Ma'am for actually directing me and actually, you know, getting me here. And Sanita Prasad Ma'am and all of you wonderful scientists present here. And all you incredible women who are celebrating your Women's Day today. I am so humbled. I can see I am beyond humbled to, start, to be standing in front of you all today. Those men and women whose dedicated efforts and research saves the country in times of crisis. You know, ranging from defense to medical. Those men and women whose vision empowers the country with the cutting edge of defense technology, whose mission in achieving self-reliant indigenous defense technologies is equipping our soldiers in the three services with surprise elements in terms of war with the enemy. I'm also aware of this fact that recently our Prime Minister Sir has announced the third list of indigenous defense technology and I am also aware that you are the brains behind getting this out. So I am so proud to be standing in front of all of you all today. My salute to all you men and women who contribute towards nation building and ensure our national security. Though I am here to address on the Women's Day, I am still addressing men and women today because I believe that all of you all are equal, each of you all are unique. You actually have set this example for our theme of this, uh, this year's Women Day, Women's Day, which is gender equality towards, uh, towards a sustainable tomorrow. You have created a world that is diverse, equitable and inclusive. A world where differences are valued and celebrated. And you incredible women, who have already crossed so many milestones to be sitting here today and you know you bravely voiced your choices you've stepped out of your comfort zones in, in chase of your passion and you've broken the bias you've broken a lot of stereotypes and you've broken the glass ceiling straight into the space a huge round of applause for all of you I was actually wondering, you know, me being a youngster, what can I address, you know, such qualified scientists gathered here. I was a little nervous, I must say, to be addressing here. But trust me, the moment I entered here, the warmth and the welcome that I received from Sir and all the, you know, women who welcomed me here, I felt so good. What a welcome. I mean, those lights and the dance. It was absolutely not expected from scientists. I thought scientists are going to be serious. <laughs> I realized how warm and welcoming you are and especially the women scientists, uh, you know, the kind of motherly feelings that you exhibit. I think that's, that makes women different from men, right? So, I think we're, we women are blessed with that power, you know, the, the power like the willpower to listen, the patience to understand, the strength to support, the heart to care and just be there. And in one line, I can just sum up saying, you are a symbol of love. But at the same time, the nature has also bestowed us with a lot of responsibilities being a woman in terms of bearing a child and having a profound influence on the child's upbringing. Um, I must say, like my mom is sitting here, she had a huge influence in my making and she literally sacrificed on her job to be, you know, supporting me. And if I'm standing here, it is her sacrifice here today. She actually 
allowed me to do what I'm doing, you know, despite of uh, me coming from a very conservative traditional family where it is believed that girls, it is not important for girls to be exploring into so many fields. And she was also criticized saying, you know, you're going to make your daughter good for nothing if you're taking her into so many fields. And, you know, I think girls are meant to just sit down and marry. That's all. You know, I belong to a, I belong there. But she let me explore myself and, uh, uh, you know, I am able to achieve whatever I am because of her. And I think every woman faces challenges in a multifaceted way, be it personal or organizational or societal. If one, one key challenge is about uh, facing the familiar responsibilities, work-life balance, and which also doubles your burden, another key challenge I think uh, is like a little lack of confidence in us. You know, we, we actually think a lot before taking risks, right? So, but let me tell you one amazing and, and very interesting fact today. So, you being scientists, you deal a lot with energy, right? So, energy, uh, the most important element that drives science and all your scientific experiments. Where does this energy come from? So, we have different sorts of energy and it comes from nature, obviously, like you know. And there's so much of unexplored energy still in the nature. We're still in the process of exploring the, the, the means of energies. And, uh, and, you know, we call our nature as Mother Nature, right? You agree with me, with me, right? So, we address our nature as Mother, which is She and that feminine energy. So I must say, just like the nature, just like how nature has that unexplored potentials, we as women have so much of unexplored potentials within us. Do you agree with me? Yes. That unexplored potentials, that untapped potentials within us, we are still in the process of discovering ourselves. Me being a doctor, a Miss India, into Bharatanatyam, and into sports, singing, yoga, and all of these things, but I think I still didn't explore myself, my potential to the full extent. I'm still like in the process of exploring myself. And to all the women across the world who are celebrating Women's Day, I, I, just, I just want to say, dear women, discover yourself. Discover your potential. You are the powerhouse. Always remember that you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. And have the courage to take bold decisions. I was so happy to hear from Sir that you know women in ASL are super bold in taking decisions. So I think everybody across the world should you, should take you as an example and learn from you that you know be bold to take your decisions. Be courageous enough to go against your conventional wisdom. And I think a lot of boundaries can be crossed if we can jump our mental hurdles first. You agree with me? Yes. Yes. So. I think I want to keep this speech short because I want to keep you all excited for the next session coming. I don't want to give everything right away. So, yes. So, I just want to say, like, you know, that my next session is about wellness and you. We all know how precious you are for our nation, but we also know how precious you are to your own families, right? For which you need to maintain a good health. And I'm going to talk a lot on wellness on you. Uh, so, I, I hope to see all of you all in the next session. And I, I, I actually want to thank the men who have gathered here and supporting the women. Uh, a huge yeah. round I think that's a sign of establishing an egalitarian society. Thank you all the men and women gathered here. I hope to see you in the next session. Men are also welcome if you want to join me in the yoga. Thank you.